On this day, at the Blairy Batson Hospital for Children, common sights and sounds gave way to the most uncommon film shoot since Spinal Tap. Oh, he does it all without a pause. Every Christmas Eve, he brings the toys to every single little girl and boy. But it didn't take long for the knives to come out at this production of a video honoring retiring pediatric chairman Dr. Bev Evans. I've done some pretty odd things and this has to top it. It's crazy. That growing hostility was echoed by others who placed the blame squarely on a power-hungry producer, Linda Shivers. Has Linda Shivers been as temperamental and uh, difficult to deal with as it seems today? Always. I have to admit, always. She's just kind of reverted to form. Um, reverted to form. It, I think this is her true self coming out, actually, you know. But others trace the budget-busting delays to a temperamental, egotistical physician-turned-rapper and a breakout star exhausted and overheated by the day's schedule. Who has the biggest ego here today? Oh, Joe Donaldson, clearly, clearly. Has he been difficult to work with? Oh, that's his op modus operandi. It's his ego. It's just uh, with a capital E. And little go. The lack of talent has never bothered me. What's it like working with a group of amateurs? Uh, it's just like home. Anybody with breakout talent? Oh, definitely. I see two or three. Want to name them? Uh, Gail Megason. I'm sure she could go to Hollywood. She was picked by several people already. Really? Oh, really? Yeah, and then I, I certainly Joe. He, he's already, evidently he's been there before. Yeah, it's, it seems these are moves he knows already. Definitely, he's got some moves. And that's something world-class ingenue, Joe Carr, Hello there, darling. knows firsthand. Joe Donaldson. Did he dress that way um, when you were working here? No, but I went to high school with him, and he dressed like this then. <laughs> but the one thing everyone could agree on was that newcomer Gail Megason's standout performance was a career maker. Gail, you're being, dis you're being described as the breakout star? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> yes, absolutely. It's an unfound talent that I didn't know I had. Is this kind of the culmination of your career? Uh, absolutely. In fact, I, I don't even think I would have gone to medical school if I'd known I had this within me. Do you see yourself back at the cancer clinic? Uh, well, maybe on a stage. <laughs> and like the starlets of Hollywood's past, what makes her story truly remarkable is that she wasn't even cast for the performance. She was discovered working in the transportation pool. But like any overblown Hollywood production, or Watergate, to search for scandal, the key is to always follow the money. So what kind of grant did you get for this? <laughs> Friends of Children's Hospital grant. Thanks, Suzanne. <laughs> he, he wanted to know what kind of grant I got to do this. I said, Friends of Children's Hospital. Thanks, Suzanne. <laughs> For this cast of characters, good old American success won't be measured in box office take, but rather in the number of years it takes for friends and colleagues to forget this day ever happened. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.